In a product liability lawsuit where a person is injured or uh, that's brought by a family who's lost a loved one for uh, a defective product that's caused the injury or the death, there are several different types of things that the family can, can try to recover. And ultimately, it's going to come down to whatever a jury decides. Now, sometimes these cases can settle uh, in advance, but generally it's going to require the person or their family to bring the lawsuit, to file it in court, to move forward, to do discovery. Uh, and ultimately go before a jury. And the jury can look at several different factors. Number one, something called economic damages. That means any uh, chalkboard numbers that can be shown that the person's actually lost in terms of medical bills, past medical bills, future medical bills, lost wages, past lost wages, future lost wages, uh, and other types of uh, money that they may have lost, for example, uh, the, the cost of their vehicle uh, if it was uh, destroyed. Those are the economic damages. Those are relatively straightforward. The second type of damages that a person can try to recover in a product liability lawsuit is what's referred to as non-economic damages. Those typically are things like um, the, the pain and suffering, the mental anxiety, the, uh, what's called the loss of consortium. In other words, the loss of the relationship that a person has. And these are really more the human elements, the human part of a case that really are uh, very difficult to try to quantify in terms of a number. They tend to be uh, the biggest part of a case for example, when someone loses a loved one, uh, you know, if it was a child, for example, there may be no economic damages, but uh, it's something that is going to really be driven by the facts of the case, uh, the unique circumstances of the loss or the injury, and ultimately what a jury decides to do. And that's really, uh, especially in the, cir uh, the circumstances of non-economic damages, that's really what it's going to come down to. What will a jury do? What value will a jury put? on those non-economic uh, type damages combined with the economic damages. And so it just in general, it's going to depend upon the jurisdiction. It's going to certainly depend upon the facts of the case. But uh, in general, it's the economic damages and the non-economic damages that a person can hopefully try to pursue through a product liability lawsuit.